Hello everybody, I want to welcome you to Woodbury Down Church through this media, our social media, uh, whatever has led you to visit with us uh, through this medium, you are very welcome. My name is Charles and I'm the pastor here at Woodbury Down Church and um, here at Woodbury Down we strive to be a community church uh, welcoming all people of all ages from all backgrounds and uh, we strive to be a community that reaches out with God's love to enable people connect with the love God has for them and we do this through various activities with local organizations and local churches uh, in order to share the gospel by building relationships and platforms that give us opportunity to know the people that we meet and we hope that you will be uh, available next time perhaps and come and join with us uh, come and find out what God is doing through the community of believers here to the world. Thank you. Hi, my name is Cheryl Blair and um, I'm a member of Woodbury Down Church for a few years now. Um, my son attended this church as well and he was baptised here. It's a church that's friendly, it's a family orientated church and we're very big on hospitality. Woodbury Down is a really a very hospitable people according to my experience. Though I sneak in into these church without inviting me, but I can feel the warm welcome the very first time that I've been here. Woodbury Down is a diverse church with many nationalities, uh, many people from different backgrounds. Um, different ages, you know, um, and diff very many different uh, nationalities, but um, we all uh, fit in as one, and we all get along as one, um, and we all, you know, welcome each other and anybody else that feels, um, that, that wants to uh, come to, to this church, will feel very comfortable and, and welcomed, I'm sure. I haven't been to church for a number of years, I must admit, and I came here as well and found a warm welcome with the people. A very diverse fellowship of people and they just took me to their heart straight away so it was great I felt like I was with friends the moment I walked through the door. It's a church for all nations, all people, all ages. Um, I've been coming here for quite some time now and uh, the one thing you'll notice about the church is its hospitality. We're known for welcoming people and um, encouraging people to get to know each other through tea, coffee, fellowship and talk. My experience has been good. Yeah, I mean, um, it goes back to Pastor um, Dumile, who, who I was uh, very close with. He used to visit me at my, at my place. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, you know, it's, everybody here has been you know, very nice and welcoming um, and loving. Um, and um, I, I kind of you know, begin to know everyone now, beginning to learn everybody's names. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I care for everyone as well. I try to care for as many, you know, people here, um, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, and, you know, I just try to you know, do, do whatever I can um, and as best as I can. When I came into this church, I feel the oneness of welcoming me through their smile. Maybe there is a surprise because they don't know me, but their smile is enough for me that I am welcome into this church. When I first came here, there weren't so many men here. Um, that, you know, I think in any church you go to, the overwhelming majority of people there are, are women. But we seem to be growing in our men's fellowship here. A lot of, whether the wives are battering their husbands on the head and saying, come to church, come to church. I know it's not like that, but we are growing in, in the men's fellowship. There are more of us now than there were 10 years ago. And it's good to see men uh, playing a role in the church, um, the different roles. Uh, when I first came here, a lot of the key tasks of the key people in the church, apart from the pastor, were, were women. But more and more we see men actually working for the Lord and, and doing things in, in various ministries. We are in a diverse 
community. We have many estates around the area. We're on the border of Haringey and Hackney. Um, just uh, in the estates around Woodbury Down and um, Tiverton, you have a lot of um, families there that come from different backgrounds. Um, of late, we've had a lot of Polish people move in the area, Brazilian. But in the past, it was predominantly Jewish. And so we have those as neighborhoods. And we do a lot of ministry and outreach to the Jewish people and community. We also um, reach out to those who are in the colleges and so forth. And so we do have a, a diverse uh, amount of uh, people in the area and it's for us as a church to challenge ourselves to go out there and meet those people who are very po poverty stricken, those who do not have English as a first language and also we have, um, unfortunately we have an area where there's a lot of drugs in the area and so these are the challenges as we as church members we want to um, approach these communities and we want to say that we are not here to judge you because many of us here are from different backgrounds and different social backgrounds as well I myself, I've come from a background where I used to be heavily involved in drugs but God saved me and that was something that I cannot say was a test to myself or anybody else. I know that the, the God that I serve, which is Jesus Christ, He saved me from a background and a, and a life of drugs. And so I just want to give God the glory. Amen. When, I, when I first came here, we had very few children, but it's that, it seems to be growing, the, the uh, young fellowship here. and. You know, we have some good teachers teaching them and they come up through the, through the ages from, from very young up to young teenagers and young youth, young adults if you like. And we see them growing in their knowledge of the Lord and it's wonderful to see. Wonderful. Hi all, my name's Sweet and I come to the Woodbury Down of Baptist Church. I've been here for a long time. I believe I first came here when I was eight um, and now I'm 20. So you do the math for yourself. Um, I'm Hannah and I'm part of the Korean Christian Fellowship and I've been coming here about when I was like 10, 11, yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, um, guys, obviously you guys are young Ada and like you know the stereotype, most churches these days doesn't have uh, most young adults there. Most people of our age group will say, oh, churches are for old people, this is not church, not for me. What do you have to say to them? Um, I think it's an understanding of your roles and responsibilities in a church. Um, as much as there's many old people in churches, um, young people have um, responsibilities too. Um, we bring a different dynamic to the church and um, it's just a matter of not being boring or not but having the goal and the objective that you're serving God and um, people around you and with that the Bible says um, to, to um, respect your elderly and by doing that I believe you are um, following ones of God's commands and um, through that there's blessings to come. Yeah, I also think church is extremely important because like, it, the most important thing is for you to have a personal relationship with God and being in church allows you to have fellowship with one another and just grow as Christians and really enjoy fellowship and just time praising God. And I just think it's a really good opportunity to just see Christians and grow with God. Okay. What we say to young adults, most of them who have this view, my life is a mess, so if I come to the church, you wouldn't want me. God loves everyone. It, he especially loves people who think they're a mess and obviously if you accept God as your saviour then it would, your life just will be changed, you'll be born again, you'll be a new creation. So it's not, God loves everyone equally. Um, and to add to that, um, you should, not you should, but it says in the Bible for us to come to God as we are. Um, and as a church, we will try to support whoever needs our help um, as best as we can. Um, yeah, just to come to God as, as who you are and don't, don't think about um, what people may think of you, like who, if they will judge you. Um, it's a matter of you and, uh, you and yourself between God and um, I guess if you want the changes, he will make it happen for you. Okay, that's good. 
What would you say uh, is Woodbury Down the Karen Fellowship? Are they diverse or do they or are they open to other people coming in, like people who are Muslim, Hindus, or people from different nationalities or race? What, what would you have to say? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely we would love to share the gospel with anyone that wants um, to come and anyone that takes an interest. Um, yeah, we'd love to have people. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. yeah. So we accept uh, Muslim, uh, Hindus, if they want to come. We bury them, we embrace them, we not judge them, we not criticize yeah. them. Yeah. They'll be more than happy to, because that's the, that's the main message for us Christians. We don't just stay silent about God, we have to share with one another the good news that God brings. And it's even better if they're not Christians, because that way we can tell them about God and they, through that maybe they can really understand what being a Christian really is. Of course, and speaking from the perspective of you guys from the background of Southeast Asia, so obviously uh, that should really be able to appeal to people coming from similar background like yours and do you think we bury down allow people from similar background like yourself or from other backgrounds to come in the church and for their gifts and talent to be expressed? Yeah definitely um, I think it's more about the people um, so it's more of for me connecting to people on a personal level um, and as you know, like the church is made up of all the people, and um, if the people are willing to take them in, then I don't see a problem of n not uh, of I don't see a problem of other people not being welcomed here. If that course. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And what we say about this typical? St it's a stereotype, but it's also truth in a way. Uh, the church is full of hypocrite. Mm. What do you say about that? particular statement. Is, it, is that true? Especially in the context of Uberida. Can I just say in any context, like yeah. it, as a general sense, there will be people that judge you and people that won't judge you regardless if you're a Christian or not, there will just be people there. Um, but in terms of Woodbury Down, I think um, generally we have a more um, welcoming and open-minded um, sense atmosphere around here yeah <laughs> okay um what would you say like people will say like the church is just want to get my money and this and that so i'm not coming they just want to steal our money and get rich you see this pastor <laughs> riding big cars and living in nice homes and going to the most expensive restaurant that's not church they don't care for me i'm struggling so if i come they'll just steal my money you know, as Christians, you have to give money to God. That's that's, you know, it, it, even if you if you don't have a lot of money, you have a little. That's your duty to give money to God. And may it, it doesn't necessarily mean that the pastors are taking your money. It's just maybe they're blessed. As a general, um, it, it, like Hannah said, it is our duty for us to give money because not because they're stealing money from us. It's more of you're providing the needs. Your money is going towards something that would help everyone as a whole, as your church as a whole. Um, there's things that are, there's hidden costs that you don't, you might not see, like heating costs in the winter, um, building expenses and like repairs and things like that. There's always um, there's always a cost that like is a regular cost that the church has has to pay, and money has to be coming from somewhere. And I think you should take in mind that when you're giving. Um, if you feel that the church is um, stealing money away from you, I don't think you should give because I think you should give with a pure heart and mm. then you'll be blessed in that sense. Yeah. So if you're giving with like a false heart, then um, like don't give it. Like, There's no point in your face. Yeah. Um, so yeah, one, it's our duty. Secondly, um, just give give with a pure heart. They, I know for a fact that this church, um, we don't use money frivolously. We um, Make sure money goes to where it needs. Um, yeah, and as you can tell, as you can see from my pastor, he's quite humble. He's really humble, not quite humble. He's really humble, and um, he doesn't have anything ostentatious. He's really down to earth. The word is preached here. The word is divided here, equally. And um, for those who do come, they're encouraged. They're blessed. 
Um, we're taught very well here um, in comparison to some other places that I have visited over the years. Um, you come and you see people come in and they grow and they mature and uh, the depth and understanding in the word um, you can see that grow also within them. Um, we have families here, children, uh, all are welcomed, any nationality, any creed, all are welcome and uh, we just invite everyone to come down um, if you're in the area in Tottenham, Sundays 11pm, 11am sorry, um, feel free to come and visit and to just share in the fellowship of those who attend here. Hello, my name is Ernest and I've been coming to Woodbury Down for roughly over uh, five five months now and I think Woodbury Down as a church and as a community is very welcoming. When I started coming here in February of this year, the people, they are welcoming, they continuously demonstrate the love of Christ towards me as a newcomer as a someone who is a young adder and so I, I feel at home I feel that they are part of my family I feel that I can share with them what I'm going through and I think they have created a scenario a platform where you come in as a new person and you have your skills you have gift you have talent that God have blessed you with and there, there's a place where your, your gifts can, can find its place. And since been coming to Woodbury Down, I've been so blessed and privileged to be able to, to be walking in that direction. Yes, I, I'm a very busy person. I work for different organizations. However, I feel that there's a personal conviction that if I'm giving my best for people out there who are my employers and I'm not giving my best for God then I should be ashamed of myself so I'm just speaking to people out there who are searching who feel lost who have terrible experience or experiences in churches or who feel that God is so distant away from them God is not and there is a place like Woodbury Down Baptist Church where you can come in no one will judge you, especially I'm speaking from the perspective of a young person, young adult, as a guy as well. I know it's quite difficult, it's quite challenging, but we'll have people here who will be able to support you, who will not judge you, who will not print finger at you, who will lead you through the pathway that you get to know yourself better, you get to understand who Jesus really is. The preaching is brilliant, it's truth. You got the Bible say, and they shall know the truth, and the knowledge of the truth shall set them free and make them free. So I'm very convinced that the church is a community oriented. We are for the people, it's very diverse. And uh, in the church, you have people from different backgrounds. There's no partiality, nepotism is practiced here. Those things are kicked out of this door. And it is not entity and tolerated because in Christ there is no division. Because when Jesus died on the cross, he broke down the middle wall that was between uh, God the Father and mankind. So now we can all come in boldly, whether you are from north or east or west of the planet, you are welcome to come and share in what God has continued to demonstrate for us since he died on the cross for us 2,000 years ago. So I just encourage every young adult who is searching you can come in if you need to talk to someone you can form into the church if you want to have an appointment with the pastor he's very down to earth he's not proud he, he doesn't boast he's a family oriented person he will come to your level if you want to speak to someone someone else like myself or any other person in the church feel free to come to contact us we have our facebook page we are on twitter we are organizing our website as well so there's different means to which you can get to know the church don't see it as a religious uh, experience because it's not it's really having a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 
reach he use us as a tools as an instrument to reach out to physical people we know people are now robots we know people are at different levels so don't feel that you need to be perfect to come to church or if you, you need to fix your life jesus died so that we may have life and have it in abundance and a church like we buried down it's a hospital for the broken it's not it's not a place where we we're looking for perfect and 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 people who tick all the boxes so if you are searching if you're hurting come in we'll give you all the support look forward to seeing you guys very soon have a fantastic day and anything you do just know that god is righteous in making you the sinner righteous have a fantastic day thank you